Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you my fourth custom palette. Um, this is another eight pan palette, so it will look something like this. Um, so far I have two shades in here, um, the shade Trusting and the shade Pessimistic, but today we are going to put the rest of the shades in and talk about pricing. So to get a eight pan palette like this with eight shades of your choice is $99 but you can also get this just separately with no shadows for 16, so that way you can fill it later with any new shades um, or whatever you wanna do. We do have a 25 pan, which means it can hold up to 25. It is a flat slate, big magnet basically, with a mirror. Um, so that itself is $25. The shades though, each one like this is $14. Um, there is also another option to get a shade just singly like this with like a mini little palette type of thing um, Which would be one shade only for $18. This is my fourth palette. I have three other ones uh, Another big one that I have like this is this one here um, This is my fall palette And then if you want to look at any of the smaller ones the four pans here like I said this is $52 as compared to the eight pans being $99 so some of the cool things about this is that each of these shades come in their own little packaging like this inside the boxes um, and they all have their own little stickers inside here to label what color it is so this is the color fancy and one of my favorite things is that there's holes in the back to poke out um, in case you may not like the placement or whatever. You can always just poke these right out here um, and put in new colors, switch them around, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put these in here. I like to put the stickers on all of my palettes on the back, as example, some of these other ones here, um, but you don't have to. Um, but these are really easy to pop out. I just push a little bit on the back just grab them like that and then they pop in right here they're all magnetic so they're not gonna fall out so when I create my palettes I like to pick something that's good for different holidays and seasons so first of all I have the fall palette um, this is like my second themed palette um, the other one that I have here is the anniversary palette that was from November of last year. Um, the colors I picked in here are just bolder because of the anniversary edition. So if you're wondering any of the colors, I'll definitely let you know. Um, this is Visionary, Ostentaneous, Ambiguous, and Slick. So this one is just kind of like anniversary theme. Um, also fall too. Um, so I kind of have two fall palettes. Uh, and then obviously this one is just like the subtle colors I actually didn't pick these ones this was when I first joined unique you get a little palette or you used to anyways um, in the presenter kit and these colors were just picked for me but I do like them because it does create you know like lighter looks but you can also create a nice bold look too um, colors in here are discreet gentle agile and marvelous and then my big palette here the fall palette that I created recently. Um, this is Fanatical, Witty, Unabashed, Lively, Gingerly, Fervent, Manipulative, and Predilous. And this one so far, I have these three, which is Trusting, Pessimistic, and Fancy. I try to kind of try new colors that I usually don't try in this palette here. Um, but I wanted to do maybe some blues and greens, um, but also add a little bit of pops of color in there too. So it kind of is maybe like a winter spring, but I'm definitely interested in creating a fifth palette for spring and a six for summer. So that's my favorite thing to do is create them based off holidays or seasons um, so that there's something for every era. 
This is probably one of the darker shades that I've done, um, but these make for really good smoky eyes and blending is really good with these. So this one is like a slate um, blue green color. So it really offsets with this one up here. Um, the bottom half I'm choosing to do a little bit darker. So I also have this color here, which is inconceivable. And this color here, which is like a true slate, but has like tones of blue and purple in it, which is irrational. Having lighter tones up top and darker tones on the bottom. Um, these two are the only metallics right now. All of these are satin. This one is a metallic. And the last one is crafty, which is another satin. Um, but we do have all different tones we like that. We have um, the satins and metallics, um, as well as some that have flex in them as well, which is basically um, an enhanced metallic um, with really nice glitter payoff. We have so many different shades to choose from. Um, so if you're definitely interested in creating your own custom palette um, and you might need help with that or you know, picking shades or how you go about it, you can definitely message me and I'd be more than happy to help out with that. Um, but like I said, these are really good for creating different looks for holidays, um, events, birthdays. Um, I think they're great birthday gifts too, um, especially if you know somebody's style and taste in color, you can do really good color choosing for them um, and create it for them or let them create it. But I really love custom palettes because you can create whatever you want to create for whatever the occasion is. And this is my final color going in now, which is the shade Crafty. So this is my final product for my winter palette. Um, if you're interested in creating your own palette, you can go ahead and browse or purchase on my website, www.superfitglam.com, or you can go ahead and click my link below, or comment if you have any questions or need help with anything.